to Noah's Ark. We're live here until eight tonight, and we're chatting with guests Anthony Kearns and Fred Cook, who's got something on his shoulder. And we're now joined by George Smith and Gareth Alcorn, aka the Sexy Farmers, everybody. Well, yes, good to have you here, boys. This is like a really, really <laughs> surreal, creepy, <laughs> weird dream. Yes. Love if it. anybody, if anybody Thank is you. kind of just waking up, they've already got the nightmare is continuing. I'm like a bomb They're bill, waking you up know. to go on a night shift. Yes. Yes. Uh, right, boys. Yeah, tell us. Uh, you're, you guys are part of a calendar, a farmer's calendar. That's how right. did this come about, and how did you guys get involved? Well, basically, uh, Kira, who is the brainchild behind the calendar. Um, had been working for uh, the Herald and had been made redundant and had worked with a calendar for the Dublin firefighters and she said, do you know what, a calendar for the farmers and Irish farmers would do yeah. well. So she came up with it, she put a few ads up and it was a few years later we got involved. She, she, we, I work at uh, Nor Valley Pet Farm and we have a mobile farm where we go out to different mm -hmm. places. She rang us up and said, listen, we bring the animals out for a photo shoot. Uh, it was for charity, it's all for Boher, a uh, great charity which we've supported in the past, and I said, no problem. Arrived out, she goes, uh, yeah, we're a bit short on farmers. Oh, how convenient. You know, <laughs> you see that how shirt you're wearing? That could be unbuttoned a little. <laughs> and I said, no, what a chance. There wasn't a hope I was going to do it. Yeah. But she badgered me, and it started off just, you can wear a, a shirt, but just unbutton it. And then it was, you know, take it off the show. And then before you knew it, it was. I think, I think she's, she had done this attention. before. Yeah. 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 Was there like, like a sleazy disco beat going on? You know, in the, in the back of my mind, there might have been a little bit, you know. Barry White was singing in the background. I Like, Gareth, you're the cover guy for the 2016 calendar. Well, yeah. I said, well, this was actually three years ago. I was a cover then as well believe it or not. Always. And so I said not a chance. Changed, well, <laughs> quality <laughs> cremates for man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it just kind of, what happened was I said, look, rather than us come out to you, we could only bring so many animals. Come out to the farm. I have deer, I have ostrich, I have mm -hmm. ponies, goats, roosters that sit on your shoulder, the whole shebang. <laughs> so that's what she's done. She's come out to the to Nor Valley. We've, we've done the shoots there for the last two years. And that's how George your gorgeous George got roped in. George, you are our next victim. So how did you get involved? Well, as Garrett said, once they came to Nor Valley, Kira was obviously short of some farmers. And right. Well, I'd seen all the crack Garrett had and the slagging off I'd given him. So I said, you know yes. what? It's time for my turn. So. But End what was it like involved. on the day, lads? Was it a bit kind of awkward? Was it weird? Was it embarrassing? Was you know, it fun? I know. On the day, it was good crack, yeah. wasn't it? It's always, it's always fun. Like, there you have a <laughs> Right. Uh, I, I won't be drinking that water. Turns out he doesn't like vodka. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a good portion of Sambuca in that cup. Have some yeah. gin. Have some gin. Get him nicely pickled. So was it was a good crack on the day? It was good. It fun. was. It, it was all, all of the shots in the calendar are really tongue in cheek. They're they're yeah. cheesy. They're all just a bit What's of banter. What's great? Sorry, that, sorry. Like, that what is, is going on there? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the shot that I'm in this year, and uh, we're pretending to play rugby with our uh, little yes. piglet. Okay. But uh, <laughs> he doesn't like standing still very hard. So actually, to get that shot, it took uh, a bit of time, and it took like a lot of different shoots because he'd stand still, and then he'd just run away. Yes. And you'd have to bring him back and try and coax him to stand As still. As you again can see, they, they wander around. <laughs> they do. They have a life of their and own. And wh what about somebody brushing a donkey's teeth? That's Kieran. He, yeah. uh, Kieran Nippers works oh for us, and uh, he's a donkey whisperer. He has an affinity, <laughs> a very close attraction to donkeys. And uh, well, he, he that, that's our next question: Are they a couple? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might say they are, but, no. but he thinks that was another story. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the, the awkwardness isn't actually on on the set. It's it's good banter. We're taking yes. the mick mm. out of each other. Exactly. One of the lads from from last year had. He had been. He said he came back from holiday, but we all called him Sally Hansen because he didn't have a farmer's tan, you know. <laughs> and uh, so the, the the awkwardness actually came afterwards, um, when you first get recognised for being in the calendar. Yeah. That for me was was a little cringe. I was in a s supermarket in in Kilkenny, and we do a, an education project where we go into schools with incubator and stuff. And so all the kids in Kilkenny have known me as Farmer Gareth. I'm the the hairy farmer or the chicken man. And uh, I'm sitting there at the checkout, and there's a little kid who must be about six years old in front of me, and he's there to his mum. You know how they are, mommy, mommy. And she's like, I'm trying to. Can you see him? It's mommy, mommy. What is it? 
<laughs> and he's like, it's the chicken man. Oh. <laughs> and she looks around and she goes, has this look in her eyes, just like, that's not the chicken man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Mr. And, April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was, it was, he's, he's, he's on my bedroom wall. And I was, oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. TMI. Yeah, TMI. That, it, and I wasn't expecting it. It really, I didn't know what to say. I was just, your mummy, <laughs> your mummy has good taste. Yeah. But of course, this is for charity. It is. It's all yes. for Boher. Uh, great charity. They bring animals out to third world mm -hmm. countries. Yeah. You know the whole uh, teach a man to fish, he can feed his family. They give yes. them goats and cattle and mm -hmm. things, and uh, all the proceeds. Well, a lot of the proceeds from the calendar. And um, amazingly, like it's it's been picked up in America yes. by a publishing company, mm -hmm. and it's going to be made into a book. So. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I saw it in Vegas, and I'm tell, not telling a lie. I saw a picture of you guys in Vegas. And I <laughs> no. About what's going on? What's going on here? I, <laughs> wow. It'd be yeah. a bit strange if we actually get to the stage where we head across, and then people are going, "Oh, I know you. Yeah. Well, I know you." Like yes. at the minute, at the minute, because it's just based in Ireland. Like the calendars go to different countries, but we're very kind of nationalized, so we're not noticed very much. But if it goes worldwide, well, yeah. well, we're told that the first order for the 2016 calendar came in from Germany. Yeah, it's gone everywhere, Australia, oh, Germany, yes. Japan, uh, New Korea. Zealand, Australia, yeah. everywhere. And um, <laughs> it's it's a bit mad, so watch your spot, Ellen should be coming up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are, are you looking for? I have never like seen him so quiet. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> are you looking for anyone else for next year, for 2017? Yeah. We are. The, the, have you any farming experience? Absolutely <laughs> none. I can <laughs> tell by the look in your eyes. You can put down this on your CV now. You have a roof on your shoulder for five minutes. But you guys have bonded. Could Fred bring him home? Because they look really happy together. I do feel like a T.G. Garner version of Jack Sparrow right now. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get the budget for the actual thing, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rodney the rooster features in the calendar. He's on Rodney. some lad he's hawking with the, the rooster. So yeah, give him a kiss. Yeah. Yeah. We, we are actually. Trained, huh? yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We're, there we're, it is. That's where he's in total shock to be on Fred Cook's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been to one of the shows. You see. That's yeah, yeah. There he is. There, look. That's he's a him. That's yeah. Rodney the rooster. There, yeah. Oh, so we goodness. are short of farmers. If any uh, budding farmers wish to be uh, on it, uh, on the website where you can buy the calendar, farmercalendar.com, you could apply, send okay. in your selfies. And Brilliant. Oh, thank you, boys. And thank indeed to, to Rodney and to Nutmeg. And we haven't got a name for this fella. Nutmeg, who's <laughs> trying to avoid okay. Gareth Mullins. <laughs>